What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lex Valtas and we're back with another episode of the short deck cash game. This game was played during the Triton Millions in London. We had the biggest poker tournament ever held there and we have some really high stakes cash games for you guys to go along with it. We saw tons of action last time, we're playing 3,000, 6,000 pounds short deck. Those are antis, the whole table antis 3,000, the button antis 6,000. So you can pretty much look at it as a bunch of small blinds and a big blind on the button. To start the hand. And button is last to act pre-flop. We see a situation here that we're going to see a lot. The cutoff is going to call. Gets incredible odds with all the antis in the middle. To see a flop. Jack then suit up one of the strongest hands here. In short deck. In short deck, the deuces, threes, fours, and fives are gone. The ace now functions as high as ace or as a five when it's low. And it can make a straight ace, six, seven, eight, nine. Flushes also beat full houses. So it's really nice to have a flush draw. To go with your hand. Both players do have a flush draw here. So even if somebody would have a nine, both these players would have out still. That's a full house there for Jason Kuhn. Both players getting shorter stacked. We saw Makita absolutely brutalized last session in some big pots. Some big setups for him. He had a, that massive uh, pot against Ten Shuen with Ace Queen versus Ace King. Ace takes this one down. In short deck percentages to win are super close. 1-1. One, one. 1-1. One, one. Not quite even. 1-1. One, one. <laughs> King, queen, clubs. Me? <laughs> Jack, ten of diamonds. Nah. You are good enough to be trapping with Jack, ten of diamonds? Pre-flop? I think it's a good play. <laughs> Why not? Jack six, one of the worst yeah, hands. Can't be that bad if you put it in. <laughs> See SD there calling. So pocket pairs, mainly the low ones, are much harder to play. They become way more upset miners. You're just not gonna have an over pair very often. The board's very dynamic in short deck. Something you want to keep in mind when picking your hands to play in certain situations. Your opponent's always going to have a lot of outs. That's why hands like Jack-10 and 10-9 do so well. They mainly go for uh, hands like straights and flushes. Those are, uh, especially straights, are very common in this game. See top and bottom pair for Liu Ming. He's had a tendency to, uh, to bet these hands for protection when he had top pairs as well. Ida taking a little bit slow with top pair. The problem with betting top pair in this game, where you have a single top pair and no kicker, is that oftentimes on a turn you're forced to check and you have no idea where you stand, but the board has changed so much and now you also have to portray weakness by checking. It becomes very tough to play and a little bit obvious sometimes for your opponents. So I really like that check from Akita. This way it keeps the pot small. I'm gonna lead at it very small now. Wants to uh, protect a little bit against the uh, draws. Also, funnily enough, he doesn't uh, think that Liu Ming is going to bet a jack on a flop that often, that he would check it. So Makita now also beats the A7 that Liu Ming has. That's too much, maybe? Some nice guy points there for Makita. Wants to win it fair and square, and this uh, means these two guys will chop. Let's see if Makita puts out a little block bet, if he's gonna bet 20k again. Doesn't look like he wants to. His opponent indeed have a hand like 10-9, 9-8. He might get a bluff. But both players will chop the pot. Ooh. That was such a casual yeah, hand played, but there was 111,000 pounds in the, the middle. Turn, Ida stating the obvious there, he was ahead on the turn. Lots of chopping odds though. A 
know what Lee, Liu Ming thought about that turn though. He was winning on the flop. But big percentage to either come running pair. The jack pairing or nine hitting for Mikita. Such a volatile game. Top and bottom pair is just so vulnerable. Playing June here. Limping as is Mikita. And just one checking his option, not using the ace blocker. Ace nine, not that great of a hand. Just the fact that it blocks some uh, ace king, ace queen is its uh, best capability there. Ooh, top two pair for Enchuan. He's gonna check it. Very sneaky. Wang Jun gonna feel pretty good about his ace jack right now, I think. Just the first to limp. Not very many sixes get limped from early position. Although we've seen Wang Jun raise a little bit with 9 6 suited, 6 8 suited. So he does uh, like those hands. Enchuan gonna go for a bluff catcher. 7 8 was already a straight, so. That's not a concern. I feel pretty good about his hands here. I'm thinking I really like the color of this shirt. Huh? <laughs> I've been to Tomorrowland recently and there was a lot of people in like, you know, different bright like t-shirts oh, and yeah. like bright Wonder dresses why. in general and I've got like, yeah. Just choose you I, I'm really into light green color now. Yeah. I, I don't have any like in my... I had a phase. I had like a, a neon green phase. My shoes, everything. Mm. In college. Have yeah. you been to Burning Man yet? It sounds intense. Yeah. Dude, you Shoot. gotta go. You gotta yeah, go. it's just so You'll far. Have a blast. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. There will be a day. I'm taking it slowly. I was in Tomorrowland for the first time, so. <laughs> yeah. Burning Man's a completely different experience. Yeah. But I definitely stop, should stop like wearing always black, black or white. Get for some nice colors. Yeah, I'm a simple color kind of person myself. It just should be different sometimes, you know? Just yeah. go in orange or something. Yeah, you gotta mix it up. Bold. Same. Jeez. Take care, Lee. See you, man. Oh, Makita Burning Man. Yeah. In the desert. Just running good, I guess. Going through a green phase now. Oh, it's nice there to the table talk. Oh, it's more relaxed than uh, cash games. There's always still uh, interaction, uh, even though there's a complete language barrier between the Mandarin and the English. People know how to uh, make conversation with keywords. Bench one in a cutoff. It's not suited. Very comparable to kind of try and uh, pick up spots with like King Jack offsuit, King Queen offsuit, Ace 10, Ace Jack offsuits in uh, Hold'em. Okay. Where your hand is, is strong. Not really strong, but strong enough to also block some really uh, some monsters out there. And hand like Ace 10 suited it serves the uh, same purpose in short deck. Some uh, insane swings, like we said, most notably with Mikita Bajakowski. Last time was a brutal session for him. Lost at aces for his jacked and suited. If you haven't seen those episodes, of course, check them out. They're all on the YouTube channel. We've also had a No Limit Hold'em cash game. That was 2,000, 4,000 pounds, sometimes with an 8,000 pound straddle. Wai Kinyong, Tom Duan, Ten Xuan, Shanghai Wang. Lots of action there too. So this is a straight for Wang Jun. Did you see it, guys? Sometimes it's uh, it's hard to notice uh, that kind of stuff, yes. but he does flop a straight. Top to pair for ST. ST incredibly solid uh, short deck player. Two diamonds on the flop. Gonna make the call. See a turn. And immediately we look for the percentages. So one out of four times, ST is going to make a boat there. Or it doesn't change. Complete brick. Complete brick for both players, actually. I don't think ST is uh, afraid of Wang Jun having a hand like Queen 7 or Queen 9. Queen 9 is a possibility, but people do tend to uh, 
I have a lot of 8x hands. Maybe even some jack 10. The gut shot to the nut straight is very powerful in this game. Wine June is going to continue betting. That's about 40% of the pot. Let's see if ST is tempted to uh, consider this. Make the call. There's the board, but not in a way where ST fills up to a full house. Wang Jun can't be super pleased with that river, though. He's up against the dealer, so any two card combination possible. Normally, you don't expect your opponents to play a lot of 9 6 or 6 7. But ST can have definitely those. Cards. Now let's see if ST thinks he needs to turn his hand into a bluff. If he does need to uh, bet out something like a queen. But it's a good. I think he asked him there if he had two pair. You know, I was flying at the start of the session, but this game is just crazy. One of the highest, fairest games I've ever seen. Short deck. You're never safe. Bunch of limps. See Jason Kuhn here. That's 40 antis. See if he thinks his Broadway blockers are good enough. All in. There he goes. Might work this time looking at all the other hands. King Jack a favorite against sevens, etc. in this game. Just because it's so much easier to hit your over cards. Did you give me two? More counterfeit possibilities even. Yeah. Okay. Straight's more common than everything, so... Yeah, I just got three in front of me, so I could use maybe even maybe three. Guys, all excellent, excellent players. Jason Kuhn doubles a lot in short deck as well. We've seen him in all the tournaments, very successful. He's won a couple as well. Nikita, of course, same. Guys put in a lot of work in their short deck game. Biggest game that runs in Asia are usually short deck games. And Shuan, one of the most feared players in short deck. You hear all these crazy stories about him coming in on one of the short deck apps and completely destroying the opposition or just coming in like a thunderstorm. Oh, Wang Jun calls with Ace King here. This is very interesting. We don't see this very often. Especially having. Uh, about nice 80 work, antis. man, the champ. Well done, bro. Good oh, you job, better look. That was awesome. Good luck, Shania. Got so long. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah, thank you. Come on, give me. That's Mr. Liang. <laughs> he was heads up in a tournament <laughs> against Dave Benefield. Oh. Everybody very happy for him. Very well liked yeah. on a circuit. Yeah. Well done. Oh, Wang Jun, top pair now. Very complicated uh, board for him to play top pair on. He has the best of it though, but Ten Shuan still 36%. The best thing that Ten Shuan has going for his hand right now is that he knows that it's very unlikely somebody else has Queen 10. Or Queen X for that matter. Let's see if he decides to uh, go for this. Never know what Ten Shuan learning alongside you guys very interesting to me if he semi bluffs this or if he wants to see a card one of my main considerations would be like if i do hit my cards either the queen which possibly couldn't be good 
Or the 10, it's gonna be a little obvious. Richard, which place you finished? Huh? Which place you finished? I saw you in the final table as well. Third? Nice. Nice. Nice, yeah. Third club, neither player has a club. They're getting it done, they're crushing. Yeah, Team Asia is crushing. Team Young is crushing. Jeez, that's for sure. I'm gonna check back. That definitely looked like a frustration check yeah. there. It's actually gonna make uh, Tenshwan feel pretty happy about the situation. His opponent checked the turn. Definitely didn't look like acting there from Wang Jun. Looked like he was disappointed with the turn. He blocks the straights. He is gonna go for a value bet here. He's trying to decide how much. I can't blame him, especially after Wang Jun's reaction on the turn, but Wang Jun is sitting on uh, this king here. He goes much bigger than this. If he adds those 25 guys, it's 130,000. I don't think he's trying to make trips fold here. Flush is also pretty uncommon in short deck. You also have to think to yourself, like, what is Wang Jun being disappointed with checking the turn behind that he was happy with betting the flop? To think about hands like Jack-9 that lose a lot of value on a turn. It's only fitting that these uh -huh. chips have a roulette wheel on them. Mm -hmm. Let's see so how confidently Tenshwan turns over his hand. I think it's going to tell us a lot if he thought he was bluffing or not. The chips, they have a roulette wheel on them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're playing short deck, just like maximum gamble. Even the chips are maximum gamble. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, I see it now. It's nice they being an actual value. Oh, <笑><笑> I almost feel like Wang Jun thought it was less there, put it in, then heard it was more, then thought, oh, whatever, screw it, let's put in the rest as well. Which could be pretty tilting if you're bluffing. When somebody thinks, okay, 6,000, and somebody's like, oh, it's nine, they're like, oh, okay, well, put in an extra three. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, man. He shouted at me. One of those times I really wish I spoke Mandarin to hear what exactly uh, Anshan was thinking there. Was it a bluff? Was it a value bet? Yeah, it was a value bet. Yeah, it was a value bet. I was a value bet. I was a Big call. Big call. Wrong chips. Wrong chips. Yeah, wrong chips. That sucks. Wrong chips. I've got that. I won't bet. 40. Uh, Sounds like uh, maybe Tan Shuan. Uh, 58. 58. Is that yeah, too yeah, much? Yeah, ah. There we go. Almost worked. 
lose 60. Yeah, it sounds like Tenchman wanted to bet smaller. So that's the confusion about the chips. He wanted to bet smaller, so that tells us this was definitely for value. I was quite surprised by the 130k. Here we see uh, Mikita amidst all of the chatter. All in with pocket jacks, last 40 anties. Excellent spot for him to get the money in. Especially looking at the other guys' hands. This cash game sponsored by Les Ambassadeurs. We're in a beautiful room here. Long June. Looking at his hands. 137 of Kaolin oh. doesn't, doesn't feel like a lot anymore. <laughs> Wang Jun. Like Good luck, bro. Very awesome to see when people are winning and yeah. putting their chips in like that. He's like, oh, yeah, okay, I'll call. Okay. Okay, la. One time. One time. One time, yeah. Only one time, la. Maybe two time. Only run no, it once. No, no. <laughs> one time. Well, Wang Jun decided it's only once this, uh, like this session. And he still had an ace. <laughs> That's the bad news. Well, you got some good news with it. Whoop. I mean, mm. that's about average. Yeah? That's yeah. about average for you. 38% oh. to win still for uh, <laughs> Wang Jun. Pair, maybe. maybe a little board pair. Just the jack. The jack VR. 10. 10 is a great card. Yeah. Oh, that's the great shit, card. That's a good card. That's too I called it. Thank you, how? That is a really good card. It takes away some of the good shot outs, or all of them actually, from uh, Wang Jun. And 9 now makes Bajakowski a straight, so. Can we add some deuces in a deck? Okay. There it is. Chop, chop, chop. Oh, yeah, my bad. Of course, I chopped. Yeah, I'm bad. It's like you focus on the ace. Oh, nine makes straight for an ace. You're like, okay, cool. No, ten is best card. You're like, oh, why? Okay, takes away the outs. And then they're gone, and you're like, oh no, they chop. You know, been playing poker for 15 years. It's okay. I saw it in some of the Triton tournaments too, where a pro would have a flush draw. And then somebody at the table would say, Ah, oh, full house wouldn't even be good. And then they go, Right. And we could clearly see that they forgot about that fact. Anyway, those guys chop it. See a bunch of limbs now, five players to the flop. Yeah, Queen Ten of Spades out there. Jason Kuhn. Really uh well here. We have Makita with top pair, but it's five handed. Liu Ming with a pair of nines gonna take a stab at it. Liu Ming really likes to bet his pairs. Now also middle pairs that we see on the flop. Thin the field out a little bit. All in. Here we go, we see an all-in from Jason Kuhn. That makes uh, Ida do a double take. That's a false. Even if you're winning, your opponent's gonna have a ton of equity. So King Jack quickly in the muck there. Too much action. Also doesn't close the action. Still has Liu Ming behind him to worry about. Liu Ming can't be too happy about this uh, situation. As we see, Jason Kuhn is a heavy favorite here. <laughs> Even though he does not have a period. <laughs> Do you know what time and which tournament we play tomorrow? 3 p.m. or something? I'll find out.
Yeah, it's a complex of one. Not 25. No, 250. Uh, Two feet, yes, yes. Yeah, Good pass yeah. frame with a nice amount of antis in it. Container for looming. Bench one with an awesome hand here, Ace Queen suited. Bench one uh, hasn't opted to take any money off the table above 500k. These players uh, discuss with each other that if you're above 500, to be able to take some money off keeps the action alive in this game. Also, there's so many hands that are close to flips, people just don't want to end up flipping for 2 million pots. Bench one doesn't care, keeps his money on the table, has 1.3 million, wants to play deep. Whenever possible. No. Oh. Ooh, pretty. So beautiful. Beautiful, that's right. Yes. Your English is getting so good. Very good. Learn. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so is there anyone know about it? I'm asking you. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, King Tensuit. Counting out his antis. He's gonna go for it. Boom! Oh, no, no, no. 140. 43 antis. 140. Wang Chun with a dominating hand. Let's deal with that 10 9. It's offset oh, though on the button. E by su. Wang Jun is 500k deep, ST behind him is 180. Ooh. It gives us some information Spicy. in terms of thinking. Yeah, Wang Jun makes a good call. Yeah. King Queen Suit, I don't know, man. I like your hand here. I don't know why. 30% to win like for uh, Basikowski. Yeah, I like the clubs. Clap, clap, clap your hand. Clap your hand. Chi Pa Cha. Zigong! Peach Ooh. I request an eight of clubs. That's pretty greedy. Lulu. Seven. Seven. Eight of clubs. No, 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 no. I mean, it's it happening so bro, often. Bro, I told you. I knew it was going to be the but low wheel But it's just crazy parts, how right? often is it happening when you're requesting the cards and they put in exact cards. There's not that many cards, so it's <laughs> <laughs> Open. <laughs> open, open, one, one card. Oh, one card. Oh, no, two cards. He <laughs> doesn't make it. <laughs> one forty. No chop this time. I think Three hundred thousand wow. pound pot there from Akita. So much needed respite from uh, all the heavy punches he was taking. No good, no good. <laughs> no good. Mm. <laughs> no good. Uh, no good. No good. No good. <laughs> that was a lot of upsides, downsides, and then back to start in stack. <laughs> yes, that's been my no mission. Go, no, I'm, I'm hundred no away. Just sitting here, just sitting here sneaking around. <laughs> but are you having some back, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got like four hundred back. No good. Nice and sneak. No good. No good. No good. Dada, how is it? From what Mikita said there, it sounds like he's about even. Gonna get aces, I'm telling you. They must have known what I just predicted. No go, no go. No go, no go.
You see lots of Broadway cards there. That's why uh, Jason Kuhn is at 27% with the hand as weak as 8 7. Flops and open and a straight draw on a rainbow board. Top pairs for ST and Wang Jun. Liu Ming with a gut shot to the nuts. Strong hand as well. Gut shots are like open and a straight draws from No Limit Hold'em. <laughs> Still gonna take a stab at it. Wouldn't mind ending the pot right here. Jason Kuhn calling though. Deciding what he wants to do, still has top pair. Makes a call as well. 75,000 pounds. Raises? My bad, guys. I uh, usually when people throw the chips the direction of another person is trying to mess those chips. But he makes it 75,000. And gets rid of uh, SD. I don't think he's going to be able to get rid of uh, Jason Kuhn so easily. Here you see it. Straight flip. Open and a straight draw right there for you, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it is really crazy in this game. Okay, so we'll make the call. Needs an ace or a 10. That uh, is not going to make Wang Jun very comfortable in his hands. Jason does have position. He might get a bluffing opportunity in case Wang Jun checks here. Oh, he's going to go all in. Now Jason just has to figure out some math here. How often? You always have king nine there you go. or set of sixes. And let me see here. 150, 175. So Jason is immediately assuming his eight's no good and his seven might be good. He's saying you have sixes or king nine almost always. Kind of indicating that Wang Chu might be overplaying uh, king jack or slightly. If it's not even in the range of hands he considers. It is pretty unorthodox to raise a single top pair like that against two players. Especially when it's a small raise, like the one we saw now. People tend to uh, want to force opponents out if they want to take down the pot and their advantage. Solidified. That's why uh, Jason Kuhn is doing some uh, mm, okay. math there. Yeah. Gonna make the call. He's gonna be super pleased to see Wang Jun's King Jack. Oh, yes. There you go. Very good result. Better than you expected. Yes. Okay. Yeah, 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's gonna be this card. <laughs> oh, so yes. Kong. Okay. One twenty. Okay. <laughs> Fortune River there, Wang Jun. Like a been involved in quite some moments now. Lost the last one to Mikita, so that's why this one is going to sting a little bit more. Yes, that's right, yeah. Yes, that's right, yeah. Yes, that's right, yeah. Yes, that's right. Uh, 
，我落十三张。后那个后来的我就就就划算了。你还占得了他便宜？但一点点便宜呢。Later, sir. Still playing a lot of fast. Still got a name of the flip. Slightly favored. 今天送给他们一副了。啊！他妈的，又给他八，来个八。Lucky. Lucky. That's the case. You know, they should. I think when you put it in on the turn, they should allow you to sweat the card. Yeah. I think they would have. I think they would have let me. He asked face up. I said, let's do it. No go, no go, no go. Out. So, so, how much money? Then, 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 how much money? So, two limbs. Jason making it thirty-five thousand in position. Not because he likes King Jack offsuit so much, but he wants to attack the limpers' place position. His hand that uh, blocks a fair amount of uh, really strong hands like kings, jacks, ace king, some ace jack limbs. But Liu Ming here with the ace king. Let's see if he's also going to see a flop just like we saw from Wang Jun, but he's cutting out some raising chips. Another consideration for him in this case could be that if he calls, he lets ST uh, in as well. Playing a three way pop with ace king having no initiative can be very tough. K K ten, you K ten, I lose. Yes. Yeah. I thought very close, very close. Fold. Fold. Yeah. It's done. And Schwen getting rid of uh, Queen at offsuits. Going to him with another playable hand. It's going to get in the mix. SD throwing away 10 9 offsuit. That's very interesting to me. Would have never thought so. Cool to see that uh, 10 9 is uh, being put considerable less stock in than Jack 10. Still uh, quite surprised there. Oh, yeah. Three sixes on board. Nobody with a full house yet. Does this mean devil in China? Yeah, Ming gonna take a stab at it. On the yeah, dealer button, like very that. small. Wang Chun quickly releases Ace Jack. Let's see what Makita wants to do with this. Uh, it's 4 to 1. It doesn't, it doesn't. He's back. gonna make the call. 666 is like, yeah, yeah even. It's not too convinced of uh, the button having a Chinese full house after they check. Okay. Lots of pairs would raise. Yeah, exact opposite. Lulu, Lulu. You guys don't like fours, right? Yeah. Fours are the... But we like 13. I like 13 too. Yeah. Well, that's funny because I mean, a lot of Americans consider 13 unlucky. Weird. What the fuck is going on? That's 45. You're gonna make a bluff. Really well done. Superstitions. Oh, it's happening. Be a pretty crazy call. Considering this, Liu Ming do likes uh, to think things through. Rightfully so. Gets rid of his hand. Really well played by Mikita. Gets it done. Loaded the flop out of position. Took it away on the river.
One of those spots where a pro like Makita thinks I might be good. And then oh, my opponent's showing so much, so much weakness. Let me just make sure and uh, win the pot right here. Also thinks he had a quite good odds, of course, to uh, try and hit a king or a ten. Wang Jun kicking things off with another Broadway hand. I think we suited it this time. Wasn't so uh, lucky for him last time he played it. Hmm, I'm fake. Gonna make it to 22,000. Jason Kuhn. Won that pot, he's at 400,000 now. About 130 antis. Gonna make a raise. Very interesting. Cool to see. Benchwen getting rid of his King Jack. Wang Jun. That's a good price to see a flop. But two and a half to one has to pay uh, 40,000. Lots of possibilities. King Queen suited. So casually, sometimes we forget how high these stakes are. Good luck. <laughs> he want, doesn't want to hear it. <laughs> oh man. It's a good flop for uh, Wang Jun there. And a uh, pull ahead with a king or a 10. At least he has some connection to the board. Jason Kuhn just can't be happy with his board at all. Being up against a hand like Queen 10 would be quite a disaster with his queen here and Ace King he's losing to, so it's pretty much down to King Queen that he's uh, doing well against here. We'll go for some aggression. All right, twenty-five thousand. He puts Wang Jun all in. Thinks you know what? If you have a nine, if you do have pocket eights, you're just gonna fold them now. Takes it down. I wonder what, uh, from Wang Jun's position, could have gone for any type of connection with the board to just kind of shove it, take it down that way, but it's all very easy in hindsight. Excellent move by Jason Kuhn, let's not take anything away from that as well. All types of hands here. Some suited gappers, some Broadway hands, a pair. Liu Ming, flops best yeah. here with King Queen. Yeah. Jason Kuhn, worst kicker, but with the King of Hearts. Nobody with an ace, nobody with a gut shot. Don't expect a whole lot of action. There's the third heart. So, uh, Jason Kuhn and Liu Ming need each other's card to make a straight. Jason Kuhn with the best, uh, with the best of it with the king of hearts. Liu Ming debating if he should bet. Wang Ju makes two pair. But that's a flush for Jason Kuhn. He has a nut flush. He's in early position. He's gonna go for a check, hoping that somebody bets. Liu Ming, very likely to bet there, I would say. He has the Queen of Hearts. I mean, he loses the 10-9 of Hearts, the King of Hearts, and 6-9 of Hearts. But those are all two uh two card flushes. Yeah, he's gonna go for a bet. That's 10k. Wang Jun considering this with two pair beats bluffs pretty much. Let's 
Go for a raise, 45,000. A little bit of a desperation move, I feel. Especially blocking uh, two cards that are on board just makes the chance bigger that other people do have a heart. And Jason Kuhn is going to be pretty happy about this. He's going to wonder to himself, though, do I raise here? There are some uh, straight flush combinations out there. But they're all two cards and nobody bet anywhere, not on the flop. You can imagine somebody with 6 9 of hearts maybe uh, betting the flop because they'd have a gut shot and a flush draw. <laughs> no action until the river. Toji. Toji. What Toji? You're Toji? Huh? Wang Jun is asking if Jason's bluffing. You fold? Four. Two ta 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 ta. Two ba. Four. Yeah, I raise. I raise. Yeah, yeah. No, no Toji. No. I know no Toji. No Toji. <laughs> Why you in the middle of the action like, again? What is going on? I was just reader? like, man, I'm glad I checked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I checked really worked Bunch out. Bunch of shenanigans. It's like, no one can have king and 10 9 of hearts here. I mean, come on. Yeah. Be bananas. Yeah. I mean, there is also sneaky 9 6 of hearts possible. Yeah, I didn't even consider that. I would have folded, I guess. I mean, somebody would have. Got sick on me and put it in. Uh, Jason Kuhn, back to the 500 mark. Over it, actually. So I had some money back as well from uh, when he was over 500 earlier in the session. SD, bottom pair and a gut shot. Makes the straights. What do you think? Looks like 500 to me, right? Interesting. Might now get called. Liu Ming with the uh, top and middle pair. I'd be interested in bluff catching here. Not bad on a flop, not bad on a turn. Good pull by him. Sniffed it out. It's so crazy. I'm in a big boss we've seen again this session. How much is tan off? Like a ton, huh? Sudden, Jason sees the mountain with chips. Thinking to himself, what happened there exactly? You Ming Ace King. Twenty-eight thousand. putting in his anti, gonna fold. So does ST, so does Jason, and that was it for our third episode here of the Short Decks game. My name is Lex Feltuis, I will see you guys next time for our conclusive episode 4. Thanks for watching.